How does a, a sweepstakes get to be fun? Because I always remember this uh, is a, a waste of your, your, your mammy and your, and your pappy's time, you know, and, uh, but it works because there are some coupons in there uh, and they uh, uh, um, have a customizing shopping experience. And so it's like the NLP version, you know, of uh, basically cu coupons. And uh, is it uh, fun? Does this get to be fun? I'll get to explain that uh, because uh, it depends, you know, for different reasons. And then for di just like what this game is advertising is uh, that you have different strategies based on different uh, levels of entry and, and, and interest and time that and like so uh you can participate and if you have time or if you don't have time you both ways and still get something because it's another problem too is if you have too much time and there's nothing left to do so they've made a, a way for you to have a few things to do you know i mean like a few things here and there and you can log in multiple times in a day or if you're clients or that's what this whole and it takes a marxist appeal so isn't that another thing that's supposed to be like you know like first is sweepstakes man it's sweepstakes then it's like oh it's marxist marxism that's not a good you know but you got to understand about this currency is it is governance so uh yeah i don't want to go off on you know how there's no perfect form of governance and you know, like, like uh just the fact that the currency is synonymous with like uh, uh, electricity or the bank because like you know the river bank uh, and the terminologies you know that is uh, there's some liquidity you know what I mean uh, there, um, capital implying that the currency is deadly can hold on to it so try to use coins and uh, it's like capitulating to a, a, a form of holding currency that doesn't do the same thing as being able to conduct economism in an economic model as a system of governance with voting and voting is voltage. Voltage and voting and governance comes all together and currency now this is not a commercial for this particular game model but i'm just saying this why how does it get to be fun you know how when you say that is fun why is it fun you know i mean like what do you mean because i mean i could see why this could keep me occupied for a minute or so but am i trying to be occupied with it every day am i trying to like what the hell does it do you know and um that's a good question all right so uh Uh, yeah, I think that I just made the video. Oops, I do that all the time. I do it all the time. I have to think for another reason to keep the video going because sometimes my point gets made and I still think I'm talking. Like, my, my brain is still focused on talking. Why is uh why does uh sweepstakes get to be fun? Why is uh Marxism not a bad form of governance? And it's because it's blockchain, right? No, I'm not saying that the trans see the thing about transparency is that blockchain is transparent, but that any company can use blockchain. That doesn't mean that that company every time is transparency, you know? And uh so by implementing Marxism, which I mean, implies that you're you're giving anybody for for participating in the ecosystem and getting exposure to the game that they are uh, uh, going to receive some kind of equivalent. You know, it's almost like you're measuring 
what it's worth to play the game for the sense of how much time it occupies in in your daily like what what are you even thinking about it how many times do i even got to remember that i have this nft like what like so you're just managing so um on, on a tiny incremental level you want to say why is this worth your time how much do you actually pull off this game and then what you put put into it and you know this game can pull different people in different times uh for different reasons too so it's like i i, I wanted to um be a have a competitive uh amount of hour per hour so that i can um flip packs and not flipping packs but like uh doing things to upgrade the nfts in the packs or flip some of the packs sell some of the packs or even give promotions like uh, so to get more people users you give away uh stuff that's in the packs or the packs or you know like uh and you have to do counterintuitive things for you know um for people to understand what is the meaning of this particular recovery right here you know what i mean what is what is the meaning of uh is this something that you could uh that signifies that there's something different about the ecosystem uh it changes you know does this mean that it was fixed does this mean it resolved it or something you know what i mean or uh or obvious is it obvious they did it because it goes back down you know like oh this it's not it's like um this this could be just a couple of people on a launchpad decks this could be one or two people that uh like uh this try to this token economic model and see some potential in it for anything else who knows what that is and you obviously don't and can't and so so what you do is you're paying attention to the ecosystems that people actually um uh, look for like they actually look for the nfts because these sellers don't care about destroying the the value of the nfts you know what i mean they care about is taking their profit and stuff and and uh so and so uh what is it like you have to be like what does these mean even if you don't know but like um aside from that uh Like how how much market share of whatever industry that that it, it has the software is uh, going to you know um, be able to fix or something or 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 a service or something or you know, it's like you have to gamify something. Um, I obviously said it already right, which are the sweepstakes. That's you know some you know it doesn't have to be my idea. Maybe someone else. But um, is it really Marxist? Now you're like saying that it has to be that thing. You know what I mean? Like you, you don't like socialism. You know? Or there's some socialism. And people have all these anecdotal things like that. You know? Uh, about centrism or something. Like there's, you have to be one, you have to be either right or left to be centrist. Because they have interest on both right and left right so it's like when you look into the bottom of more of the deeper you go into uh politics and there's no truth to anything and that's just as simple as that it's just like there's just no truth to it and there's no and it's just that simple and that's what gatekeepers know that they protect that there's no truth in it like is it how it did like and and it gets so complex and it, it is you know It is a rabbit hole. But you wouldn't even need a, a, a you wouldn't even need a junior high school education to know to know that though. <clears throat> so there's something else going on with this it's uh I'll I'll be the first to find out if it is truly Marxist. But then again, is there a flaw in my methodology because uh, of how much stake of the share of the coins? Now, uh, 
there's other things going on that I couldn't expect, you know. Like, if, if I did this when everybody was doing that, it almost feels like like there's almost like no nobody left to put cell pressure so is that cell pressure gonna just is there's hidden cell pressure that's the nature of it. you know you have to use your best assessment to be not wrong oh i just did something to fuck up my chart uh, it's gonna be hard to fix i don't even know how to use this shit uh and um Finding support uh, th th uh, three times higher than the base price, uh, based on um, your your own, you know, majorly at the t that that was at a certain time though. So like at a time maybe they recognized that it was majorly, you know, one or two investors because I do have help sometimes, but they you know I have to notice it, just, but I do have help sometimes. Uh, that they decided that it's not stable yet, you know what I mean? Because it wasn't stable here, obviously, even though there's some uptrend, right? It's not stable. Um, there was people down here, right, that when uh, this pump happened, uh, oh no, when this pump happened, they said they that they were glad that they unloaded. They, they were glad that they unloaded, they knew what it was, you know what I mean? There, there's some truth to that, because there's two months, two months and a half right here. So if they knew what it was and they offloaded everything, you know what I mean? How would they didn't offload everything? If they have NFTs, then you can slowly build your your uh, liquidity in this ecosystem for whatever that's worth, right? Um, that you get them to change their mind. It depends how much that they distance themselves from, or you know what I mean, from being able to be, um, like, uh, have more, uh, liquidity in the ecosystem. So I can't even tell you what all that means. You know, I think that they probably would have just waited and because this is month here, like this is month here. This They could have been slowly selling this whole time. They did it really fast. But it doesn't mean they lost. Maybe they got back in, you know what I mean? Like, it just feels like Okay, somebody help me with this, definitely. Somebody matched somebody matched me, but that's only two investors, right? That's only two investors. Uh even if I staked so much that my um that uh my per hour salary was enough to uh take a ten percent of the total uh coin supply and right and then burn it right that doesn't mean that there's new uh users you know but those new users coming through is very good for everybody including new users to come a little bit later on afterwards if it's true that your token economic model is based in a in a system of governance and that works for a indelible blockchain protocol it's going to be always there it'll be one of the first and so that would even have some kind of rustic value to it right now i couldn't see selling hoodies and t-shirts you know but does that mean that it's going to go down that does it kind of depends on me but it kind of may not too so, so i only have i don't have 10 percent of the total token supply i have like one one hundredth I'm one one hundredth. If you have ninety nine people by the well shit, by the time that there was twenty more players, this price would be like way up here. Right? But if there's like one if there's like there's two or three or four or five that are like no, because I mean there's no actually this season there is quite a few that um have to be going beyond their earn earnings to pump RLM into uh so because I'm actually way down this season I do have a first place season but I'm 85 but it doesn't matter right because I'm think I'm, I'm doing it differently this season uh like 
like uh this is yeah they 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 so it's not just me um but it doesn't really take that many play, um people investors to change the downtrend like obviously i think it only takes two right two people can turn everybody selling the other way and it can find support higher than what you thought it would find support they're just looking to see like is this going to be a dump because you have too much control over over the the circulating supply too much control over the circulating supply i'm dumping i'm getting out you know you, you still have nfts so like you'll be able to do more of this if you want later and more of this later so with uh by the time we got like i'm talking about investors that want to own a like a, a one tenth percentage or one one hundredth percentage if you have 10 players that want to have one tenth uh one one hundredth uh excuse me one one hundredth investor level that means that you stake uh, one one hundredth of the total token supply, and only ten more. Then that means the players have uh, taken away ten percent of the total token supply from whales. And that's only ten. That's only ten. If you have one hundred, yeah, yeah, okay. So it's just what am I saying? <laughs> Yeah, 10 to 10, 100 to 100. So, what the, that itself uh, does not generate new income, but if this is a Marxist sweepstakes, law, sweepstakes blockchain model, right? Then the buy pressure for them to be able to, to, uh, to stake those coins and make them exceedingly rare represents the same interest that you want to be able to sell to money to buy the NFT. Um, so the NFT price goes up, then it doesn't matter if the coin is more rare because getting less coins is still good if the price is way higher. Um, and it for, there, that's why it has to be Marxist. That's why it has to be blockchain. For this sweepstakes model to be interesting because you can give people small NFTs, like light, like, okay, no, um, like, okay, look. I mean, you don't want to give away um, platinum, but if you want to have extra like uh, there's different rates of stars, right? If you could give away 10 people some two stars or something, I'll show you what they earn, right? This is with no equipment, a base rate of like almost one RLM per hour if he's positioned and you can place, you can place six of them. Right, so that's a, like you can break off people, you know, like a pieces like of a Kit Kat bar, you know, you can break them off like sections, uh, small, like you know, like it doesn't have to be, and and you're and you're affected very little, so that doesn't drive a lot of uh, new, you know, um, income in. It does, it still doesn't. But why does it still work? You see what I'm saying? Why does it still work? I just, I, mean, I already said why, obviously, because it's a just a model of a sweepstakes, which is an interesting new way to gamble, uh, minimizing losses, you know, and still having some exposure to an element of risk where you can win more, right? And having a way to establish yourself in the ecosystem with NFTs to be able to participate later to some meaningful degree. Uh, you do have to do one mission per day every 24 hours to keep your salary rolling in. So you have to log in and spend maybe less than a minute to complete.
complete one mission like this bing bong boop select a leader so you have to have extra additional leaders right so you go back and buy a couple more leaders because you gave away some leaders to some people right and then you don't have enough you know and then you you pick so i'm just doing a regular vid a regular uh video of this project why not i guess i mean there's some to, I, I think i'd own it 10 percent. i mean i think i own it 100 one one hundredth of a percent i think is it's 100 of 100 percent mine it's like ooh, you, know, you own a project you have a company you know yeah you do like anybody can like even if you only got a nft worth five dollars because if it's marxist uh and nft uh um like uh, literally that's the ecosystem is whole based on NFT, then that's how much you own it. Like they, they're, you know, like the, the devs get paid in RLM, you know what I mean? The devs might or might not want to flip a pack, you know, they don't have to, they don't, you know, but they probably, you know, you can't base the whole ecosystem on just the, the creators of it and work, you know, but the thing is, it does have uh, at least 3,000 people active right now. There's like more than that wallets of accounts. And some like 25, 10 or 25. I don't know, that's important to know, but it's not really. It could be or it might not be, just like you have so many subscribers, but maybe if you go live stream, you have like more people watching than, or less, way less, and like that kind of, information is like case sensitive so <clears throat> i mean you want to read some complaints i just want to just pipe you know uh, blow my own horn or anything is it uh oh well, yeah in this jurisdiction it is legal to is it legal to film yeah because these are a uh, pu public okay because this is a public Live, what's it called? A public uh, social media chat board or something like that. It's supposed to be everybody seeing it. Anybody and everybody can see it. I won't go into personals because there is that. There is private. Okay. What the fuck are these guys talking about? Never mind. I thought they were going to be talking about some of the game. Okay. Cat and 